happier to have these two gentlemen from the new movie Glass joining us this morning. So one is the star, the other is the director. Great to have Samuel L. Jackson and <laughs> And, 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 and thank you guys for joining us. And yesterday, James McAvoy was here. Yeah. And we asked him, is there something we could tease you about, Samuel? And he said, you're unteasable. Pretty much. Really? <laughs> Are you really unteasable? Yeah, of course. You know that. Yeah, I kind of I kind of do. Kinda I'm do. trying to think about something I could tease you about. Not Probably much. not we'll hide. I'm just kidding. <laughs> not much. So, 10-year challenge. You took it, of course, to the Samuel level. I did a 50 years. I did the 50-year challenge. Yeah. Check out this. And I like what you wrote. Uh, you said your, your caption was, the attitude, probably the same. So knowing what you know now, what would you say to the 1969 version of yourself? Um, be patient. Okay. Yeah. That's all. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's pretty simple advice. No, yeah, because I mean, we're, all, we're all in a real hurry to get somewhere when we're that age. It's yeah. like, I want it to happen, 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 so you can experience it right then. But, you know, patience is good. You know, a little Enjoy bit of mellowness, you can, you appreciate it more when it shows up. That is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen to that. Mm. And in the movie Glass, I mean, wow, M. Night, your, 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 your mind, the way it works is just fascinating to me. <laughs> <laughs> you scare me just looking at you. I'll, 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 I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but it's a follow-up to Unbreakable, which is almost 20 yeah. years ago. Now, what's the biggest difference between Sam then and Sam now? I make more money. <laughs> <laughs> It costs a little more. It costs more. It costs a little more, yeah. You know, he always, he's always had this swagger. He's always been, you know, I guess when, when I was, I guess, 20, 29, when I was directing, it was super. He, I'm still intimidated by him. He's, he's super swag. Like, when he comes on the set, like, you know, I'm super nerd. Like, you know, it's super nerdy Indian dude, right, on the set. And he walks in. Like, he walks on the set. You guys didn't get to see him walk in. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. I mean, everybody yeah. stops. Yeah. Like, I'm all, I'm all confident, exactly what I want to tell him, and then he swaggers his way to the set, and I just lose every, like, I start <laughs> stuttering, and he just, he's just a, an amazing presence. Mm -hmm. I, I would say the difference in these 20 years, I don't think I've told you this, but just pretend you're not here for a second. I, I, he's be become a, an amazing craftsman as an mm -hmm. actor. And he, I, you know, when we started on Glass, he came and he, was, he approached it like a play and he had all these questions and we talked through the intricacies of the character of why he was saying this, why he wasn't. And that's why I, I, I like theater trained actors is because their craft is so mm -hmm. high. Yeah. And, 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 and Samuel, I heard that when you two used to bump into each other, you used to go, hey, when are we doing the sequel? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so he said, I'm always looking for my him. next guy. Did you intimidate him into a sequel? Of course not. I just asked him politely, are we ever going to make this other movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sort of polite. He, yeah, he would, sort of polite, right? Or little, sort of polite. He would, yeah, add, sort of he would polite. add his traditional expletives yeah. when, when he would stop. And, a little go, spicy. Yeah, a little spicy. He added uh, some spice. Yeah, so. All depends on whether I knew what my next job was or not. If I didn't know, I was more desperate to get him to make this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hence the spice. Yeah. Do you guys want to take a look? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Everything we will see and do will have a basis in science, but it will have limits. This is the real world, not a cartoon. And yet some of us don't die from bullets. Some of us can still bend steel. That is not a fantasy. Was that the best take we did? <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. That's why I put it in. So. I, I got to ask you, Sam, about uh, the Marvel Universe. Nick Fury is in the upcoming, Yay! yes, <laughs> Captain Marvel movie. We read that, that a version of Nick Fury was, was based before the movies ever came out. Nick Fury was written based on you. No, well, come on. not really. I, but kind when, of. When they changed to the Ultimates, I was in the comic book store because I go to Golden Apple like once a month in LA um, and they keep a box of comics for me. But I was in the store and I saw this cover and mm. it was the Ultimates and it was like, what is this? And just like, 
guy looks like me. Wait a minute. <laughs> so I'm flipping through it, and it's like Nick Fury saying, well, if they ever make a movie about us, who do you want to play you? And Nick Fury says, Samuel L. Jackson. So I call my agent, and my agent's like, uh, not, I didn't give anybody permission to use my image, right? And she goes, no. And she calls Marvel. And, well, we're thinking about making these movies, and we hope if we make them, he'll do it. They put it out yeah. to the universe. Yeah. So and risk happened. getting sued. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of, speaking of com comic books, you've taken your whole universe and you created a whole comic book out of this whole universe that you created. So we're going to see this live beyond the movies. Um, you know, I'm, this is my only sequel that I've ever done. Glass, traditional sequel. I mean, mm -hmm. basically, Glass is a, a sequel to two different movies from two different generations, yes. from Unbreakable and Split. And Split was kind of a surprise sequel that nobody knew that was actually a sequel. So this is probably the one and only time I would do this. I like to make up new things and new characters. So, I mean, everyone has been asking me this, you know, um, and especially the people that have seen the movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, it, is, there, is there more? Is there more? Um, I, I, I'm going to say no for right now. Until Samuel so calls you back. So, wait, so, you, so, <laughs> so you wouldn't think of that TV show second season as being a sequel to the first season? What do you mean? What do you mean? That TV show you did. Yeah, well, that's a TV show is a different, a different beast, a different beast. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You see the attitude. This yes. is what he does to me on the set. I'm trying, I'm if I say, "Hey, I like, think you should say it this way," he does this. Sequel, right? It's like one season, one season. The next season, the sequel. <laughs> I mean, Sam does have a point. How, this, how, how do you direct this? Uh, this man? is what I'm saying. How do you do? Saying. This is what I have to deal well, with. Well, before it was different. You know? <laughs> I mean, things, things, the 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 dynamic between us has changed. You know, mm -hmm. because when I came up in the theater. Directors were dictators. Mm -hmm. You, yeah. they tell you to do something, you do it. You know, and then when you get in the movies, that kind of changes because you have a through line, and sometimes directors want you to try something. Say, so, well, try it this way this time. You go, no, <laughs> <laughs> because that doesn't go with what I want to do tomorrow, and it doesn't go with what I did yesterday. Yeah. And you get to go to the editing room. I don't. So oh, wow. you're gonna choose that thing that you like. I like the thing I'm doing right now. So let me just do it. <laughs> But it's working. It's working for both of you. Yeah. And, and we're, we're so excited for this movie. And, and Sarah Paulson's here tomorrow. Yeah. She's ah, yeah. on, on Thursday. Love so her. excited to talk to her. They say she's unteasable, too. Oh, no, but you can get her. You can you get can? her. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to get some stuff him? backstage from her. <laughs> yeah. We can, we'll we'll yeah. ask you off camera what we can mess with her yeah, about. Definitely. But, yeah, definitely. But, but M. Night Shyamalan, thank you so thank much. You so and much. Samuel L. Jackson, the coolest man oh, on the yeah. planet. Thank you, my friend. And glasses in theaters on Friday. Make sure you check it out. And we got to say thanks to our friends at IMAX. You know, everybody in our audience, you're all getting two tickets to see the movie in IMAX.